Because something that gets you better. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Yes! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What? What? Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, yeah, yes, sir, yeah. Yeah, almost yes, sir. Get on this grandpa status and then right. yes, sir. Alright, now, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna come back. We're gonna scale back a little bit. Alright? Because what I what, what the goal is to understand space to close to pressure. Alright? So I'm gonna scale back a little bit. We're gonna be outside the tie a little bit. Because the more I can get this guy to pursue me a lot of times, the better off I am at, at say, say I'm not an outside the tie guy. I want to be, I want to be close and grabbing and controlling. But if I make this guy think that I want to wrestle outside and he finally gets a hold of me and thinks he's winning, he's right into my wheelhouse. Okay? So we're gonna pair the head, we're gonna move our feet. And you're like, man, why don't we do this first? All right. A, because I want to keep stimulating your brain and thinking and shifting gears a little bit. But B, I want you to understand what it takes to go from here to a good position to where I can attack. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna measure with my hand just to make sure I'm, I'm arms length away. Back leg hand's gonna come to the ear, lead leg hand's coming under, and I'm gonna step to the side. I'm pairing his head. Okay, see how my palm is on the side of his head, on his neck, and I'm just gonna circle. Notice, my feet stay in my, in my stance. Okay, and I'm gonna go to the opposite side. Lead leg hand to the ear, back leg hand under, and I'm just hooking right here on his neck, making him look away, and I'm circling in my stance. Okay, so I'm pairing the head, moving to the side. I'm making him look away. I'm pressuring his arm. I'm chasing him down. I'm making him move his feet when he doesn't want to move his feet. Outside hand, inside hand. Pair the head, notice I'm in my stance. Pair the head, I'm in my stance. I'm into him, I'm making him look away. Pair the head, make him move his feet. All right, because what's going to happen is the more we make him move in open space, when he starts to start reaching and grabbing, we're going to go right to home, and then we start pulling the trigger. Again, I want this guy to be uncomfortable as possible. We can only beat him up and tire him out so much, okay? But we tire him out mentally, it's just as effective as physically. Good? Pair the head, move the feet, both sides. Lead leg stays in front the whole time. Go! Nope. 